We're going to go ahead and start assembling now. And the first part that we're going to grab is our back plate. We're going to go ahead and slide this in where the stock plate went. Slides right in. You do need to make sure that it fits down firmly and securely over the transmission brace area. There's a little nub there that it fits down onto. And it should all be nice and solid. We're, the directions call for using two of the flathead M15, or I'm sorry, M5 by 15 for the rear screws here. However, when I was doing a pre-installation, I found that they were just a little bit too short and didn't quite capture all the way into the nylock nut. So I'm going to use the M5 by 20s that I took out of that spot when we originally disassembled the Baja. So we're going to go ahead and put two of the M15 by 20s in there instead of the 15s. We're going to go ahead and screw them in. The next step that we're going to go to is we need to find a little standoff and it took me a while but I found it inside the battery strap bag and it's a small little standoff looks just like this hey we'll get back here where it can focus there's a little flat side on there and I was messing around and not really quite sure where the flat side goes but we're gonna go ahead and install this underneath the plate where the engine mount went there was a little L bracket for the engine mount that went to the back of the case. We're going to go ahead and slide that in there. And then we're going to use an M5 by 30 out of the bag, which is this little one right here. I'm going to go ahead and slide that in. And it just so happens I dropped a nut on the ground, um, came out of the bottom here, but uh, Life has been good to me, so I had an extra nut. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that up in there, hopefully. And go ahead and tighten this one down. There still is one additional mount hole, which is over on this side. Kind of hard to see. Um, however, the directions and that I'm following do not call for that yet. So we're going to hold off and probably uh, find uh, when the directions tell us to put that one back in later. So that's uh, mounting the back plate, back brace onto the Baja. The next part that we're going to mount on is going to be what they call the bottom plate. And that's this unit right here and we're going to use the two engine mounting holes here in the back chassis and also these two mounting holes here and respectively they're going to go into these two holes here and these two holes here so we're going to go ahead and place this onto the chassis and line it up And the direction is calling for two of the M5 by 15 flatheads. So we're going to go ahead and take two of those out. And it's also calling for two M5 by 15 button heads. So we're going to go ahead and take two of the M5 button heads out of the back and use those. Seeing as how these are a metal to metal connection, we're going to go ahead and use Loctite on them. And we ordered from TGN or from DDM, I'm not sure, the Team Fast Eddie Blue Loctite. I'm going to go ahead and shake that up. And a little dab will do you on these, so we're just going to put a little spot dab on them. 
rub it into the threads a little bit so they're ready to go. Then we're going to go ahead and install these. I'm going to use the button heads on the two oblong holes, which are right here. And during our test fitting, what we have found works best is if you just start all four of the screws first so that everything lines up and then after you get everything uh, all lined up and put in you can go ahead and tighten them down. It's always fun trying to put screws in with the camera here because at odd angles. So we're going to go ahead and put those two in. And then we're going to come around from the bottom and put the two flat heads in. And again, don't tighten them down until all four screws are in. It's a lot easier to align that way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. like so. Now we've successfully installed our bottom plate. Let's see if we can get a look at it here. And it goes on just like that. Our next step is going to be mounting the motor plate to the motor. So we've gone ahead and propped our motor up here and we've grabbed the motor plate and we're going to use three of the M4 by 8 cap screws and there's only three in the bag and it's easy to locate and the screws are going to go into the three slotted areas we have one, two, and then a third one that's down in the recess that's slotted and that's going to allow us to adjust our motor back and forth for our mesh these are a metal to metal connection However, we are going to be adjusting them later on and we'll use some Loctite later. So we're going to just uh, hand tighten these screws down so that they're tight. If you take a look, there's four screw holes in the motor and those are the screw holes. We're going to be using three of the four screw holes. Let me grab my wrench. I forgot to bring it over to my bench here. We'll get started on this. Pretty straightforward. There's the wrench. If you'll notice, we're going to set the motor down with the leads pointing this way. Not up to the top, but they're pointed down to the right. And we're going to take our side brace here, the engine mount, and all of the recesses are going to go to the outside, and the flat portion is going to be on the same side as the wires. So very easily it's going to set on there just like so. We're going to go ahead and hand tighten and affix the motor to the brace right now. And we're just going to hand tighten them. We're going to use Loctite later on when we adjust the motor mesh. So we'll put those three in. Looks like I have the motor mount over just a little bit too far. Again, I was trying to work for the camera rather than watching what I'm doing. So we'll loosen that back up. 
put our third screw in. Works like a charm. Just like so.